Welcome back to another travel video with Lux Life London. Today I'm going to be taking you through my day trip to the Isles of Scilly with my dog. We managed to visit both St Mary's and Tresco in just one day, so I'm going to give you a full rundown of how to do it. We got the 8.30am flight from Landon to St Mary's. We parked up in the car park and then went to check in. Frank had to get weighed and he was a little 5 kilos. If you're travelling with a dog, you get to board the plane first um, and there's a dog crate on board, you just have to lock the crate door. Frank was great when he went into the crate, he was so good, but as soon as the plane started up and it started making a really loud noise, he freaked out. He did not like it at all. He was crying, he was just trying to get out of this crate and it was so stressful. But the flight was only 15 minutes long and before we knew it we had arrived at the island, we landed on St Mary's and thank goodness I could get him out of that crate. We got the shuttle over to Hugh Town and I managed to go past my family's old house which was Myrtle Cottage but these days it's called Charlotte House. Um, I couldn't really get a good view of it but we then went to the cafe, I got a smoothie, Frank plonked himself in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Um, and then after that we then wandered down to the little hut to get our ticket to go to Tresco. With a day trip you really have to kind of plan out which islands you want to visit. I always visit Tresco just because it's my favourite island. I think it's just so beautiful. I'm also very biased because my family are from there so it's just really special to me. Um, but I love the boat trip over so much. Frank really enjoyed it as well. It's just so beautiful. We were so lucky with the weather. When we got there, um, I decided to go straight up to Cromwell Castle and King Charles's Castle, um, just because that's my favourite viewpoint on the Isles of Scilly, like the whole of the Isles of Scilly. There's the castle just over there. <sighs> All right, guys, so I'm on the Isles of Scilly, I'm on Tresco. Funnily enough, this was the first place where I filmed a little travel vlog. So it's nice to be back 10 years later. Um, look how beautiful. I am knackered. <sighs> it's 20 degrees today. It was supposed to be overcast and cloudy. So I was like, oh, it's going to be cold compared to the 28 degrees we've had the past few days. So I wore a blue shirt and leggings. <laughs> and I'm sweltering. <laughs> I am so hot. It's ridiculous. Oh, and I also forgot to get up to King Charles's castle on Tresco. You've got to go up a big hill. So yeah, I don't know why oh, i got sweat patches everywhere. But anyway, it's so nice here. I'm so glad I'm back and Frank is having a great time. He is absolutely loving it. Okay, so Frank and I are here at King Charles's castle, just here on Scilly. And here is the view. So, Frank's having his water and his food with this view. I have a cheese straw from the cafe on St Mary's. But look how beautiful it is. Okay, so I thought I would do some top tips of having a great day trip to Scilly. Um, so my first recommendation is do not take the Salonian. I've done the Salonian before for a day trip. And it literally made me so seasick that I couldn't actually enjoy the day. <laughs> I spent the whole day feeling sick and being sick in the cafe. Um, yeah, I literally couldn't do anything. So do not get the Salonian unless you have a very, very strong stomach. And like, I'm never usually seasick. Only the Salonian makes me seasick. And then, so make sure you get the plane, the Sky Bus. I got the 8.30 a.m. flight out from Land's End. And then I'm getting the 5.30 p.m. flight back. Um, so it gives you a full day, whereas the Salonian as well, it's like a two and a half hour trip each way. It's cheaper, but you have far less time on the island. You've only got like a few hours to enjoy on the islands. And that's not enough time to come to the other islands. You kind of have to stay on St Mary's. First tip. My second tip is come to Tresco. This is my favourite island, and I am so biased because all my family... <laughs> from Scilly come from Tresco so I'm very biased but I do think it's the nicest island there's just so much to do here so much to see um, whereas the other islands it's kind of just beaches um Briar I'm not Briar has Briar's nice it's very rugged um, but there isn't really anything to do there other than go to the beach and go to the crab shack which is an amazing restaurant 
um, St. Ag- St. Agnes and St. Martin's, again, it's kind of just amazing beaches. Tresco, you've got the Abbey Gardens, King Charles's Castle, where I am now, Cromwell Castle, Ruin Beach, um, the Newen. Again, I'm biased because my great great grandfather used to run the New Inn pub, <laughs> but it's a great pub and amazing B and B as well if you're staying overnight. Um, so yeah, my second tip is don't just stay on St Mary's. Come to the other islands. Come to Tresco because it's just stunning. And then when you do come to Tresco, make sure you don't go to the Abbey Gardens first. Um, everybody gets off the boat and they go straight to the Abbey Gardens, especially the day trippers. That's the wrong thing to do because then it's going to be packed with people. You want to come up to King Charles's Castle first because nobody comes here. <laughs> As you can see, it's empty. It's just me, just me and Frank. Frank's over there. <laughs> it's just us. And it's so peaceful. It's so beautiful. And this is where you get the best view on the whole island. So yeah, do King Charles's Castle and Cromwell Castle first. And then go to, well, you can either go to Ruin Beach Cafe or the New Inn for lunch. I'm biased. I love the New Inn pub. Um, but both are really good. And then after lunch, that's when you want to go to the Abbey Gardens. Um, people tend to have drifted off a bit by then. Every I don't know why everyone does it in the morning. <laughs> Every time I've been here, it's just packed in the mornings. Afternoons, I find it's a lot quieter. So go there in the afternoon, like straight after lunch. And then you enjoy the Abbey Gardens and then you get the boat back to St. Mary's. Um, and you have to be at the airport an hour before your flight. So you have to be there at 4.30. So if you get a boat back at like half two, three o'clock, then you can have maybe a little bit of time on St. Mary's and then get the shuttle back to the airport. And that's your day done. You've had a lovely day on Scilly, enjoying Tresco and a little bit of St. Mary's. Um, and really, what more do you want? Like, it's just so beautiful. I mean, look at this view. It is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then so you've got Briar over there. That's Briar. And then I think that one straight ahead is Samson. And then, yeah, you basically, you get the boat from St. Mary's into the quay over there. And then you walk along here, all through that beautiful heather and heath up to the castle where we are now. It doesn't take very long to walk around the castle, it's just a few ruins, but the views from these little windows are stunning. You can really imagine what it would have been like hundreds of years ago. I just am obsessed with window with windows with views. Um, and then Frank and I walked all the way back down to the main area um, and Frank he just gave up halfway down so I had to carry him but the landscape is just so beautiful I wasn't really fussed. Okay so we're walking back to the main area of Tesco. I think Frank is starting to flag a bit so I'm just legs and legs and carried him all the way up the hill the castle and we're halfway back down <laughs> and he's just like mm, I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> so I feel like at some point I'm going to have to just carry him, which is not ideal on such a warm day. It's not even that warm, it's 19 degrees, so but it feels warmer. I think it's because the sun is directly on us. I've had to put my hair up and everything. Um, but yeah, where is he? There he is. You're right, Frank. Come on then. Look at all these blackberries. Oh my gosh. Delish. Me, Frank. Delicious. <laughs> hey, Smiley. The Ruby Beach Cafe was so dreamy. I literally cannot even begin to tell you. I had the most incredible crab on toast. It was absolutely amazing. Frank had a lovely nap. Both of us were so happy. I was by the beach, I was eating crab, it was just dreamy. And then we walked up to Green Cottage, which is my family's old cottage on Tresco. Five generations of our family lived there. And then we went for a little stop in the church before heading down to the beach.
Are you gonna go in the water, Frank? <gasps> now, the gasp that you just heard is because Frank does not like the water. I had to take him to swimming lessons at Battersea Dog's home because he hated the water so much, but my parents live on the beach in Cornwall, so he needed to get used to it. But he loved it on Silly. He went right in, he was paddling. I was so proud of him. Okay, so we're just on the beach in front of the flying boathouse. Um, we did try and get around to the Abbey Gardens, but Frank just stopped. <laughs> he could not walk anymore, so we sacked that off. And we're sitting on the beach, and he's just had a paddle in the water. Um, and we're going to get the earlier boat back, and then hang out, hang out on St Mary's for a little bit before the flight home. So yes. So I think one thing I forgot about when taking my dog to Silly was how much he would be able to do. I would have happily gone to the Abbey Gardens and then got the later boat back, but his little legs just gave up. He did not want to walk anymore. He just sat down in the middle of the road and would not go any further and I could not carry him half an hour. So we got the earlier boat back and it was the best thing because it meant that we got some extra time on St Mary's. We went to the pub for a drink. Um, I just love this boat trip between the islands by the way, it's so pretty. Um, it's just one of my favourite things about Scilly is going between the islands on the boat, which is really sad because it's such a small thing, but it's just such a nice thing. Um, and then yeah, we just had a wander around St Mary's and it was really lovely. And the weather was completely perfect. And then we went to the park and we just sat on the park on the grass. I ate my crisps because I needed some salt. Um, I have a health condition where I have to eat a lot of salt um, to make sure that I'm okay, especially when it's warm. Um, so I had my salt and vinegar crisps and Frank had the best time just laying in the sunshine on the grass. Um, and it was just the loveliest day. We had the best time on the Isle of Scilly. And I would honestly recommend it so much to anybody who's visiting Cornwall or who's thinking of going to the Isles of Scilly. Um, and you just, you know, it's just such a relaxing day. It felt so peaceful. Oh gosh, now I want to go back all over again. Um, but yeah, and then we, we got the shuttle bus from the quay back to the airport. Before we knew it, we were back on the sky bus and heading back to Land's End. If you have any questions about doing a day trip to the Isles of Scilly, you just want to know more, please comment down below and I will happily respond to any comments or questions. Um, if you enjoy travel videos, please subscribe, give this video a like um, and stay tuned for all of my upcoming travels. Bye!